the Joe Rogan experience. The world of Bionicle always intrigued me. What is the origin story of the original Six Toa? Well, it all started with the great spirit named Mata Nui. The great spirit had brought down the Matoran from the heavens to inhabit the island, which they named Mata Nui as a tribute to the great spirit. So the Matoran, those Happy Meal Bionicles, were there first? Yes, the Matoran, as well as their elder leaders, the Turaga, were there before the Toa. They lived in various colonies around the island. Life was going great for them, until one day the great spirit's brother, Makuta, got jealous of the Matoran's love for Mata Nui. Wow, so Makuta is the great spirit's brother? That just blew my mind. Yes, and he also infected and controlled the wild biomechanical creatures of the island, known as the Rahi. They were servants of Makuta and did his evil bidding. They kidnapped the Turaga and also wiped out the Vwadamaka trees, which served as their source of food. That's interesting. I knew that the Rahi were like wild animals of the island, but I didn't know they were corrupted by Makuta himself. In the Matoran language, the word Rahi translates into not us, or it simply means wildlife. Also, not all of the Rahi were actually created by Makuta. Some of them inhabited the island long before Makuta arrived. So when did the Toa arrive on the island of Mata Nui? The Matoran legends foretold the coming of six heroes that would defeat Makuta and restore peace to the island of Mata Nui. One Matoran named Takua embarked on a quest to save the Turaga. On his quest, not only did he rescue the Turaga, he also gathered crystals to heal the Vwadamaka tree. That's amazing. That little guy did all of that himself? He did more than that. He had another quest where he found all the Toa stones, and he brought them to the temple of Kini Nui, which was in the center of the island of Mata Nui. Once he gathered the Toa stones, a huge beacon of light shot to the sky and summoned the Toa canisters, which fell from the sky and eventually washed up on the shores of Mata Nui. You're referring to the plastic canisters that the sets came in. That's right. It's extremely clever how the packaging adds to the storytelling. The Toa canisters served as transportation pods that sent the Toa heroes across the Great Sea onto the island of Mata Nui. That's crazy. The way I see it, the, the Toa canisters were kind of like these float tanks for the Toa to reflect and like trip on edibles in. Well, what's fascinating is that after the Toa emerged from their canisters, they were in pieces and had to assemble their own bodies. They were prepared for this as they had undergone prior training to fulfill their duty. So what happened after the Toa had arrived on the island of Mata Nui? The elders of the island, the Turaga, sent the Toa on a quest to locate and retrieve all 36 great Kanohi masks, which were needed to face Makuta. Once they had collected all the Kanohi masks, they were brought to the temple of Kinui, and the Toa then went to challenge Makuta. Wow, not going to lie, this is way more complex than I could ever have imagined. It doesn't end there, there's more. Before the Toa could actually face off against Makuta, they had to battle two Manas crabs, which were absolutely menacing. I remember those. They were mechanical, remote-controlled crabs. Oh, yeah. They were brilliant. When I was younger, I was probably 39 at the time. I played with them in the sandbox with my cousin. They were his. Sick, man. Those were rare. I wish I had them, or at least got to try them. Of all the Rahi, they were an extremely tough opponent, so the Toa needed to work together to defeat them. The six Toa had to unite into a more powerful form, known as the Toa Kaida. Yes, those were the combination models if you combined three Toa. I remember combining my Tahu, Onua, and Pahatu figures to create the Toakaida called Akamai. That's correct. That was one of the Toakaida beings. Akamai wore a golden how mask. The other Toakaida was known as Wairuha, which was a combination of Kopaka, Gali, and Liwa. This Toakaida wore a silver Miru mask. Well, those masks look gorgeous. I guess only the most elite collectors got their hands on metallic-colored Kanoe masks. That's true. They were not included in any mainline sets, but could be purchased separately in Kanoe mask packs. Right. I remember getting at least one of those back in the day. So to get back to the story, the two Toa Kaida defeated the two Manas crabs, which then opened a portal that led to Mangaya, the realm where Makuta resided. But in order to enter that portal, the Toa Kaida had to separate back into their six individual Toa. Just before they went to face Makuta, they each had to fight a shadow version of themselves. Man, it just keeps going. That was the final battle the Toa had to fight before finally coming face to face with Makuta himself. In this last conflict with Makuta, each Toa used their elemental powers in unison to destroy Makuta once and for all. So he was finally gone for good? Well, the Turaga prophesied that Makuta would be defeated, but not for long. Only until the cycle of darkness repeats again and new heroes are needed. Wow, I knew Bionicle had some interesting lore, but I never realized how well thought out the storytelling was. I could literally talk about Bionicle all day long. 
Hell yeah, me too. I'm totally hooked on this shit.